Amy Roloff, the beloved matriarch from Little People, Big World, recently opened up about her current relationship with her ex, Matt Roloff, and his soon-to-be wife, Karen Chandler. In an exclusive chat with Us Weekly, Amy, at 61, shared insights while promoting the show's 25th season alongside her husband, Chris Merrick. We're cordial, we're respectful, we can enjoy each other's company, Amy stated about Karen, 56. But don't get it twisted, she quickly added, I wouldn't say we're going to be best friends or anything. Chris, also 61, weighed in, noting that Amy and Karen's relationship is amicable and has definitely gotten better over time. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Karen, previously a manager and assistant at the Roloff family farm, stepped into the spotlight with Matt, 62, back in March 2017. This bombshell dropped nine months post Amy and Matt's divorce finalization, following their 28-year marriage breakdown in 2015. The plot thickens, folks. Amy didn't shy away from admitting that moving forward with Matt and Karen was a process. She candidly expressed, I never wanted to have anything to do with them, but yet here I am, still doing a show with them. It's a reminder that time heals and perspectives shift, especially when your ex-husband's new fiance was once a familiar face around. Chris, who tied the knot with Amy in 2021, shared that despite the complexities, Amy and Matt still catch up over the phone, discussing family-related matters. It seems like there's a silver lining after all, with conversations flowing smoother than before. The curveball comes with Matt and Karen's engagement announcement in April 2023. Amy's take on her kid's reaction to the news? It's a mixed bag, but she's giving them space to adjust, just like she did when Chris entered the scene. However, not all reactions are warm and fuzzy. Zach Roloff, Amy and Matt's son, showed clear reservations in the season 25 trailer, bluntly stating, I don't wanna talk about it, when quizzed about his dad's engagement. Despite the family drama, Amy's support for the engaged couple shines through, even though she and Chris might not make the wedding guest list. Amy believes the focus should remain on Matt and Karen, without stirring the pot at their big day. Chris, on the other hand, humorously mentioned he's all in for the bachelor party, but agrees the wedding might be a tad awkward for him and Amy. So there you have it, folks. A tale of family love and navigating life post-divorce under the public eye. It's a reminder that relationships are complex, but respect and time can pave the way for amicable dynamics. What do you think about Amy's approach to her ex-husband's new chapter? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to hear your take on this. Before you go, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more juicy updates and deep dives into the world of celebrities and TV shows. And hey, keep the conversation going in the comments. We love seeing your perspectives. Until next time, I'm Max, signing off. Stay tuned and take care.